channel this is lifestyle with Ola where I talk about lifestyle fashion luxury and sometimes fitness and everything in between and in today's video I'm bringing to you my spring uh, and, in, and in today's video I'm bringing to you my spring uh, spring essentials video uh, I think it's very important that you know um, we have an idea or at least I share with you what I deem essential for spring and you know what actually works in my wardrobe and for my body type and my collection what i deem essential for spring and if that sounds like something you're interested in please stay tuned the first item for spring is it spring without a trench coat the first item that i deem essential that is essential in my closet for spring are trench coats and I usually, you know, love, I like, I love the idea of a trench because it's that, um, covering for the in between weathers. Sometimes you wake up in a, on a spring morning, it's cold and during the day it gets warm and at night it gets, you know, chilly again. So for those kind of days for me, I prefer a trench, um, as opposed to a regular coat because that way I can keep it on all day. And, you know, I have several trenches, uh, I have several trench coats, and um, I love the fact that, you know, each one has a different characteristics, and for, for, so for one like this, this is a H and M trench, and I love the fact that it has a um, sleeveless trench, and for um, one like uh, this, I can wear it over garments, like what I'm wearing right now. So if you, as you can see that, you know, it still keeps me warm here. If I wanted to, you know, let the sleeves down for this dress, it's a family dress, I can do that, but without having to um, affect the, the volume of my um, top. So I love trenches like that. And so I, I love the fact that when I saw this, that, you know, it, it was sleeveless and I can wear it over voluminous um, tops. So... That's one, and that's the guy. I picked up a, uh, um, uh, I picked up several trench coats from Nasty Girl. I love the fact that you know they have that oversized, and oversized is really in right now. So I picked up, um, I think I picked this one up, a brown, which I'll share with you, and this I wore over another top, and I like and I love the fact that you know this is a full. Um, leather one. It has that full mock croc um effect to it. So and I, it's even though, and that's something about them. It says this is a US four and it's still really, really oversized. But the good thing about you know getting an oversized trench coat is that you can wear garments like this over it, or you can just wear like a tank top, the trench coat, and pants or jeans or denim. And you're good to go. So that's the, the you know the beauty of that. And I love the fact that this is color. And for me, I don't really, you know, um, the traditional trench. Uh, what I found out that is, you know, the trench coats in beige, except for like you know ones that are sleeveless like this. That means what when I wear it, I have to wear a pop of color on the sleeve so that you know that kind of you know shows for it. Uh, my outfit so for for me for trench coats I I tend not to love the traditional one I had a Burberry coat I, I've had uh, three Burberry coats I had to send them out to uh, consignment to get sold because they were not they didn't fall into every time I try to wear it it's kind of dampened down my outfit and I noticed what I noticed about it it was because they were not made for my skin tone so that once I, I you know I figured out what was wrong with the outfits I was creating with the trench coats that I had, I then realized that okay, this is what was wrong, and so I gave it away. Because if for me to get a trench coat, either it has to have a it has to have cutouts, um, you know, maybe that's like the cut out like the Mugler one or the sleeveless one. And once I find this in like you know better fabric or uh, I and one I will purchase it but right now this will do the job so I uh, a spring essential 
is our trench coats. In my closet are blazers. Um, they're days that you don't, you know, want to, you know, wear a trench, but you still want to look put together, and um, and you wear and you're wearing a denim or a regular t-shirt, and all you will be grabbing or reaching for is a blazer. The blazer will kind of make you have an uplifted look and a put together look. And I have this um blazer here from Zara. It's a cream, um, almost white one. This is really, really lovely in the spring. And also, I have this MSGM one. This is really nice. It's thick, but not too thick where you can't wear, you know, layer under it. Although it would be nice, to you can just wear like a, a sports bra or crop top under it. And, you know, wear pants or jeans or it will make that outfit look, you know, really put together. So, and for me... I like blazers that are in the same color um, that will match my wardrobe basically. I mean, I have a lot of um, suits and I can use the, um, that, um, jackets as blazers, but um, on days where you just want to, you know, bring put together an outfit or uplift an outfit or jazz up an outfit, I go for like, you know, really nice um blazers and especially in the spring I go for the lighter ones that way um, you know I, I'm not dressed to you know my, my dressing is, doesn't look too dark so for my closet I, I like colored leather jackets or full leather jacket I have this full leather one from Zara uh, I, I think I, I, I ordered one I'm not sure if it's cream or white from the Frankie shop. It's supposed to be coming in. And once it comes in, I'll do, you know, like a, um, I'll share it on my channel for whatever it's new if I keep it. And so, because I wanted to actually find one that is really oversized. This is just a regular one. I've tried to make it fit into my, you know, lifestyle. I cut off the... You know, I think there was a belt and there are things that came with it that I took out. But so, what I, I, I love about uh, leather jackets is that on days where you just you just want to, you know, um, put on jeans or put on a, a long skirt and you don't want to put on... Uh, on days where you want to put on a long skirt or you just want to... Yeah, long skirts and you don't want to put on a trench or you don't want to put a blazer... And you want something cropped, cropped um, blazers will do the trick for me. I figured that out, you know, once I wear a blazer, um, sorry, leather jackets will do the trick for me on, on, um, for outfits like that. So what I've noticed is that this Zara one is doing the job, but it's not like a high, and it's not a quality, a very good quality one, but it will do for now what I need it to do and give them effect. I don't think it's that warm. But it has a good lining where, you know, it's not, the fabric is not too uh, itchy. So, uh, leather jackets are essential for me in my wardrobe. Essential for my closet slash wardrobe are denim jackets. I have, <laughs> I have a, a quite a, a number of de uh, denim jackets. This one, I think most of the ones I have right now, um, are from H&M. This one is from the men's section in H at H&M. I think I'll try to, um, I did, t um, I have a photo shoot wearing this. I think I'll try to share it. And this is, I got it. The thing about, um, the thing about denim jackets or jeans jacket for me is that what, I love the oversized look of it. So once you have like a, a look like maybe you have leggings on or or skinny pants on or skinny jeans on. I don't wear skinny jeans or I try not to wear skinny jeans if I'm not wearing boots. I love the fact that, you know, this kind of oversized look, especially it gives you that 90s look. It, it makes the outfit not look, you know, too put together. So let's say you're wearing something that looks so corporate or so dressy yeah maybe so dressy if you put it out of the den it kind of dresses it down and then gives you that street chic, um, chic look so that's something about a uh, denim jacket and i have them in different um 
cut. I have it in this washed out um, denim one where it's cropped. I like, you could say some, some outfits where, you know, you could be wearing, um, you know, let me see, probably a cool up leather pants and you know, a tank top, a long tank top, and you just want something to kind of edge it up and, you know, not kind of drown out the outfit. If you added a, 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 a short, uh, a cropped, if you added a cropped denim jacket to it, that will kind of dress it down or make it more street vibe or street look. And I love the fact that, you know, this from the Divider Collection at H&M does that. So, denim jackets are spring essential for me. I also have it in this MSGM um, one in pink. Pink, if you don't know, it's my favorite color. I love the way pink uh, makes me look. And orange is getting to that also for me right now where you know I'm loving orange and but you know it has, it, it can do what pink does for me so I love the fact that when, once I saw this uh, a denim jacket in pink I knew I had to have it so maybe if I find one in orange then I'll get it also but once I saw it in pink I knew I had to have it and it's this one there's a unique detail about it it buttons you know you can button it down at the back and um it's oversized. I think I did get it in a size le larger than my mine. Yeah, it is oversized also. So that uh, denim jacket as a whole are spring essentials for me. Essential that I found out for my closet for days where I just want to wear um, shirts or if I'm wearing like a um, a, a, a t-shirt or I'm wearing like a, sh a regular shirt. And I don't want, and I know it's gonna be cold, but don't want to wear a coat. I could just wear a vest. And I have this um, sweater vest from both are from HM actually. HM um actually does very good knitwear. And I started trying to look into cost. Cost is like the sister brand for HM, but their quality is more in um is more refined and better than HM, but for now. Uh, and maybe when I, once they their stuff goes on sale at cost or on other stories is the same sister brand I'll venture into them also because I do love you know the look there's that um what's that look called there's that preppy look that um uh, vest actually do and some for me sometimes you can wear a vest without actually wearing anything on there and you know put it on, on a pair of jeans uh, a trench and you're good to go so I have the um, this is the this one is a cream one and uh, it's washing out right now on the camera and this is a baby blue one from H&M I have them and this is in a medium and this also is in a medium and it does gets the job done and it's a spring essential and it's a spring essential for me the next category of spring essential for my closet are white button downs so I have um, a lot of white button downs and sometimes I try to borrow my husband's because he buys a, lo a lot of better quality ones and for me because I go through a lot of white I try not to you know buy once I, I end or until I just figured that I was actually wasting my money and then got one from cost and since then I have not looked back so I got one from cost I love the the oversized look of it I you know there's some looks that that's white and I actually have some cropped white shirt there's a white cropped white shirt I got from the Frankie shop I love that look I'm gonna try and share it right here and once I got it I didn't know that I ordered a small something must have happened I ordered a small instead of a medium or large. It came and was so small. I looked into it and it was on uh, a small. And I returned it back to the store. And unfortunately for me, I still had to pay sh shipping costs back, which the doctor, which I wish they could just do an exchange. So now I'll look for, for the um, for the large and buy because I love the, that look. And there's some you know trousers that you want to wear with it. You know you want to wear a cropped uh, long sleeve shirt. A trouser not on denim maybe on denim but I, I love that look on trousers and also I have this pink how can I have something when once I love an out um 
uh, a category. I always looking for my favorite colors because that way it will work well with my closet and I will wear it a lot. That's something I've noticed that if, if I get something in a color that I actually love in a fit that I love or that, that suits my, uh, my frame, I would end up wearing a lot. So, um, white uh, um, shirts, button down shirts. No, they, they, they don't have to be white. They just have to be the colors that you love. I just love, I just love the fact that, you know, white can do the job, but, um, that's, it's, it's a great one for me. Category of, and I'm, I, and I know I have other bodysuits. I just had to pick up the pink one. For, uh, for spring essential for me are bodysuits. You know, there are days where you just want to that, you know, you don't want to keep frozen in, while wearing denim for me, especially jeans, I don't want to keep, you know, tucking it in because they'll ride up, tucking it in. So I usually would get like a bodysuit and that's it. You just wear it once and it's done. Nothing is coming out of that and, you know, that's it. So I, bodysuits are essential for me. There's a look that, you know, you can wear uh, with bodysuits for spring and you know as long as you get it and you know i think i have bodysuits and i usually will, they are basics for me and i get them from zara and zara makes um very good bodysuits and i found out that you know this i've had for about two two to three years and it has lasted so i have it in black i have it in cream i don't have it in white i think i have the long sleeve in yeah i, I know I, I have it in pink black and cream and you know it, it, it gets the job done. I could easily wear it, you know, like that, or wear it on a white shirt if, if um, the weather calls for it, and tuck it in, and it looks good. So, that's that for bodysuits. Of spring essentials in my closet are tank tops. You know, tank tops are going to be big and huge this um, spring summer especially when you're wearing with denim or jeans and so you just get a nice fitted tank top just like the 90s look if you remember if you grew up in the 90s and you watched MTV a lot or you uh you know um saw TLC uh probably Mary J Blige and you know all of that that crew in the 90s and you know you you that was the look and we, we always wanted to recreate our looks and I'm so excited that, that is, the 90s are back for the spring summer. And so that tank top look um, is back. But for me on a regular day, I would just, I usually will, I usually wear, I bought this um, last year from H&M. I usually wear tank, you know, this racer back one actually fit my frame better than, you know, any type of one and so what I usually get is make sure that I have razor back uh, on um, bra or brazier or whatever you call it and then wear it and there's a way you know it th that look that it gives especially if you have toned arms it's really good in the summer and so for spring summer I would layer that under uh, for the razor back one I would layer under a denim jacket that is cropped. Tank tops as spring essentials for me, especially when I layer it with um, denim jackets and put it on, you know, another jeans and you know having that uh, Canadian tux tuxedo look. And voila, you know I'm dressed up. I'm not really showing my midsection because that's, you know, layered there. And so for once where I'm wearing high waisted jeans, which I um I've been wearing for the past couple of years, I usually will go for uh for once where I'm wearing high waisted jeans, I usually will go for like um crop tops. And I love you know laying crop tops, you know, with my denim jacket, the oversized ones in spring you know if, even for that canadian tuxedo look i can easily do that my midriff is not showing that much you just have a you know sliver of skin showing but not 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 something over the top but <clears throat> because my jeans are eye wasted this is you know baggy and big it gives that 90s look it gives that you know edgy look and 
I'm good to go. And once I wear that kind of look, I try to make sure I'm not wearing de um, uh, tennis shoes. I wear high heels with that and there's something, you know, the juxtaposition of, you know, the casual with the dressy makes the look. So wearing this uh, um, jeans and putting on like, you know, uh, uh, high heels or heels will, you know, give the look an edge. And also the same, the opposite is true also. So if you were wearing like a suit and you would not want to wear high heels with it, if you wanted to give that street vibe, you would want to wear like trainers with it or tennis shoes. That way it gives it that edgy look. So just also wearing like a flared skirt or, you know, something that you would not expect then you will put on like sneakers or tennis shoes with it. So for me, for that, that's that look, you know, where you wear, you know, a crop top. I love crop tops. And, you know, I decided to, you know, splodge a bit and get this uh, Lueve one. I said it at the beginning of the year that Lueve has me on a chokehold. And I'm trying to venture into buying more or better quality items. And I've noticed that, you know, designers... I've been putting the extra efforts. I mean, a tank top is a tank top. A crop top is a crop top. Top, but I've noticed that the the fabric and the make the way it's made is different. You know, so it's this this I would want to have in my closet for a while or a long time because of the way it's been made. I've washed it. And it still looks that the way and I know what my eye street ones look like once I wash them because I know I'm like oh by the end of the season it's gone so that's that for crop tops and they are very essential for my closet and my lifestyle in spring so in my closet and I forgot to bring out a black one are uh, um, basic t-shirts um, I've heard that the ones from Aket, Aket is you know doesn't ship to the U.S. and so some other brand I'm looking trying to look into other brands that carry better ones, but this one that I got from J Crew has actually um, done the job. I've added this, you know, I got it in a small, and I've added since about 2019. I remember because I bought it for my cousin's wedding, you know, to take with me on that trip, and. I bought them in white and black and they've lasted long so I like that you know I know they're boxy ones where you know you can wear with other outfits whereas this one I can just easily wear put on a straight leg jeans and put on a trench coat and you know maybe my uh, Vea or Veja sneakers and I'm good to go grab a handbag and you know I'm set for the for, the, for spring so for me, uh, aside that these are basics, they're also essential for spring because they, they give that layered look. And you can also, the good thing about a white t-shirt is that you can also, you know, put wear a white t-shirt jeans and, oops, <laughs> wear a white t-shirt jeans and put on a blazer and, you know, you know probably necklace and you're set to go. It, it doesn't look basic at all. As long as you know you put a uh, you throw a blazer out over it. Let's see. Let's find a cream blazer right here. So let's say I was to wear that. Put on a um, white t-shirt under this blazer, and voila, we're good to go. So that's a good thing about a ba even though it's a basic, it's actually um, an essential in my closet. And I, I love it in a black also. I'm trying to see if I can get other colors. But the thing about, you know, that I've noticed that if you don't get good quality colored items, you once you wash them, that's the end. So even though, that's why the fact that I want like other colors, I'm not going to go to the high street for them because I'm just going to wash them one season. I remember a, a shirt I bought from an ice street, uh, a t-shirt I bought from the high street one. I love the fact, you know, it got a stain. I didn't even get to wear it and I washed it and looked like the color went away from it and it looked like I've had it in my closet for 10 years because it faded like that. Next item for me in my spring closet, 
our dresses. You know, the, uh, the good thing about a dress, wearing a dress, is that it's a one item outfit. You don't really have to think about it except maybe you just, you know, want to layer on her. I'm wearing two dresses right now. I'm wearing, you know, one sleeveless dress and I'm wearing another dress as a jacket on top and that's it. You don't really have to do too much thinking. You don't really have to say, okay, what, what am I wearing with this? Except maybe, you know, you're just trying to be extra fancy. I love dresses because, they, you know, they're one um, item. Except if you want to, you know, be fashionable and layer over it. Or lay it under it. Dresses are it. And I have this, you know, one of my favorite colors. I love the fit of this. This is almost like a, a knit sweater dress. It's a, I have had it for a while. It's a mini dress. Every time I try to go donate it, because you can see that, you know, I've had, I've, to go donate it, I, I keep looking back and I'm like, no, I'm not letting it go. And this one I bought this last uh, fall. And it's from Stored. I love the look of it. You know, just wear it with boots, handbag, and you're good to go. And also, this one I picked up from Target. You know, I walked into Target the other day. I'm like, wow, that why does that look like a Jacku Moose um, dress? The only thing I'm scared of is that it might fade. But for the amount I paid for it, I'm going to try my best to make sure that, you know, I wash it and, and cold wash, use good... For, um, uh, detergent and you know take care of it and see you know how it lasts because sometimes some of these items it's how you take care of them that makes them last long so dresses for me are a very very essential in spring um in my spring closet or spring wardrobe another essential item for my uh, wardrobe in the spring are sweaters or jumpers I love jumpers, especially when I'm working from home. It's easy for me to just put on a jumper, put on uh, my jeans, uh, bedroom slippers, or you know, my Uggs. Um, I have a Uggs that I wear around the house that my daughter got me for Christmas, and I'm good to go. You know, it's just simple. You know, I, I don't even have to layer under it if I'm not going anywhere. I don't have to layer over it. All I have to do is just get a warm jumper and this one from uh isabel morant i think i did show it in what's new in my closet in the video before this that i love the mohair of it i love the shoulder part of it once you wear this uh in a zoom meeting you know it looks all dressed up because of the shoulder pad but it's just um a sweater and i love this so much that I think I have it in two colors. Did I wash it? It's gonna turn me into a liar. I love this so much that I got it in two colors. You know, I love jumpers and sweaters. Um, they, they, they're very good for the spring because you know you can just put it on. You don't have to you know layer too much under it. Um, if you wanted to wear it without you know, any um, a jacket, you can easily wear. A white button-down shirt under it, you know. Put on a light um, trench coat or spring jacket, and you're good to go. So, uh, sweaters, jumpers um, are an essential in my spring uh, wardrobe. In talk, in talking of you know um, sweaters, I you know I also love. Um, cardigans, you know, they're very right now. You can actually wear cardigans by themselves. You know, you can wear it as a top. I love the fact that you know, you know, we've been doing that a lot. And I have this long line one, which I usually would wear, you know, um, as a, a, a top, a jacket over, you know, um, t shirts and jeans, or this one's where I just wear as a top. I got this one from HM and you know swapped out the buttons that came with it yeah i have time on my hands i i saw these buttons and i'm like oh they'll go with my h&m sh um, shirt and swap them out and kind of elevated it and so now i have that um cat um cardigan and so cardigans for me are an essential for uh my spring wardrobe
I've been talking about jeans for the past, since the beginning of the video. Yes, a good denim, a good jeans are essential. Very, very essential for my closet. I mean, people, a lot of people wear like trousers, um, which are essentials too. Let me see. I have one from, um, I have this one from Mango. Uh, depending on, you know, where you're going. But, um... Jeans are very essential in my um, spring closet. I I know I there's no week that goes by that I don't even wear jeans at least three times, especially since I've been working from home. Let's say I was going to the office, you know, working from the office. Then maybe okay, that's let's say I was going to the office. Then maybe the what does this thing keep? Let's say I was going to the office, then maybe, you know, wearing a trouser. Um, trousers are essential. I mean, then you will want to wear them in the spring, really. But I know that, you know, for now, I don't like, you know, wearing trousers just for working at home. Um, I have been, actually been reaching for my jeans, so these are an essential. And this one is actually very special. These are the famous... Um, uh, Magella jeans and they have the cutouts uh, on the side and you know I did have a debate with somebody on uh, Instagram about you know what's special about this um my camera keeps losing focus I'm not sure why I need to look into the settings of it but so I did have a debate with somebody on Instagram about this jeans and you know I've had a lot of jeans you know I had jeans from Frame, Rag and Bone, um, a Goldie jeans, even um, Victoria Beckham jeans and I found that this one is made different. I mean aside the, the cut on the side this jeans I have to look into this it's really annoying me so um like i was saying i had a discussion with somebody and the, the you know the fit is different and that's something about this their white leg the the way the um the rip is it's not revealing and they fit so well and the fabric the denim it has no stretch to it and the denim fabric is really good and even though i've washed it i didn't put it in the dryer but i've washed it and it, it came out looking good so for me, denim um, are an essential item for spring. Um, I don't know. Even I, I, I think even all year round, <laughs> but it's an essential item for spring for me. Also, essential that I've noticed for the past few years that I've been wearing a lot, I've been um, leather pants. Full leather, real leather. You know, I have this Pro Enza one. I have this Proenza one and it's been good. I'm not sure what I need to do with this camera, but I probably need to change the brightness of this video. And thank God it's coming to an end. And so, um, I found that, you know, I've been wearing leather pants a lot. And instead of wearing trousers, I've been reaching for leather pants. So, um, I have them in different colors. Um, I have one from, once from Zara. Um, I've noticed that, you know, the quality is not that, that well, but I do own them. And so going forward, you know, I know where to go get, um, leather pants now. And so I have one from Massimo Duty, even though they're the same sister company to Zara, but they're really better well made and they're actual leather. So, um, that, so for my wardrobe, um, leather pants are really, really essential and I've been wearing them a lot. So, you know, that's something that going forward I will look into and get them in better quality and other colors that are from you know better quality brands so the last fabric um the garment item from uh for my spring spring essential video are uh, actually skirts and not not any skirt are uh, slip skirts I have this one from Vince and it's a um, silk slip skirt and I found out that you know on days where I just want to 
you know, mix and match. Um, I like the fact that this is brown and it goes with everything. So slip skirts are essential for my spring uh, wardrobe. You know, there's so many ways to wear a slip skirt. You know, wear it with boots, wear it with sandals, wear it flats. And they're very, very essential in my closet. So, um, slip skirts, I found out that even though I don't wear them too much, but they're essential for, you know, days where I want to go out. And I can dress them up or dress them down. I can put on um, tennis shoes with a slip skirt or put on heels with a slip skirt. And I'm good to go depending on the occasion. So slip skirts are essential for my closet. So another item that I found out that I've been able to wear and I've been wearing more in my um, spring closet are scarves. Scarves are easy to wear. And I've noticed that, you know, with scarves, uh, all I've been doing is uh, wearing them with my trench coat. So sometimes I use them as a belt for my trench coat. I use them as a, um, on the, as a waist belt on my trench coats. Or I wear them as capes or, you know, put them over trench coats. And that way it gives some kind of, you know, another look to it. And... Uh, that way the, uh, the trench coats don't look just so basic so scarves I've noticed I've been wearing a lot in my spring closet so now they're an essential for me um, you know some people might not need them but when I have like boring outfits and I just want to you know add something to it I always add a scarf and just probably tie it on around the neck put it around my waist on, on the belt or use it for something extra. Sometimes I will put on um, a scarf or a twilly on my handbag, and that way it, it you know it gives it adds something or spruces up an uh, an outfit. So scarves have been you know become a, an essential for me. And so in talking of the next uh, accessory, uh, uh, next accessory for me, I've been belts. I love belts, anyways. I've been collecting belts. And I know that, you know, um, if I was to wear a plain outfit, I usually would make sure that my accessories are always top notch. So belts for me are very essential. I can usually put it, um, if I was to button up my trench coat, I can put uh, a belt around it and replace the belt that came with the trench with my own belt and, you know, it jazzes up the outfit. I can put it with my jeans. I can put it over dresses, I can put it over um, a denim jacket, especially when it's that oversized, I can cinch, cinch it in the waist. So um, belts I found that are very essential in my spring closet. So those are uh, um, essentials for me in addition to shoes. And then the final uh, category for spring essentials for me or uh, are my um, trainers, especially this spring. I found that, you know, even though when I wear my heels, heels are, you know, I have heels in my closet, I don't wear them on a daily basis, but I found that I've been wearing, like, my um, sneakers a lot. I've been wearing my Vegas, I've been wearing my Converse, and for outfits that match my, or I want to contrast, I've been wearing my Balenciaga, um, So another essential for my spring um, closet are uh, handbags. So I usually, you know, gravitate towards lighter color handbags in the spring, and I love the fact that you know they go with everything. Even though I, I still reach for my darker ones, and right now I'm hoping that I can get good use out of this ones here, my boy ones, my lighter ones in the spring. So. Um, for my spring essential handbags, I, I either if I have, if I don't have them top handle, then I have a crossbody. I um, right now I'm not gravitating towards tote bags, especially since we've been working from home. I don't even know what it feels like carrying tote bag anymore. Hopefully, you know we can get back to that. You know, carrying totes. It would be nice, you know, to um, I need to get a, back to a tote bag because there are days I want to go work out from a coffee shop and you know put my laptop in it but for right now 
um, I'm just grabbing for my acne studio ones um, uh, this has been a uh, an essential for me uh, that every month you know I'm one kind of person I find hard to switch handbags if I'm you know for my day to day so I, I've been gravitating towards this when I'm grabbing this so handbags for me uh, you know they're very essential all year round but lighter colored ones and because I'm wearing those tone this actually goes with everything on this rack so also yeah I was talking about I can you know towards the summer I probably will reach in for my um tote from Tory Burch. I usually will ca I usually carry this in the summer but it's something I can actually you know wear with my um spring closet also so those are essentials for me in the spring So that um, is the end of my Spring essential, um, Essentials video. If you know you have other items that are essential to you in your spring closet, please share with us. Let's know. This is a community. Um, I'm trying to make sure I build this community so that we can all you know share things amongst ourselves you know what's important what you see out there that you you love that works for you your body size and all of that and for me i am five foot five and i fluctuate between 155 and 160 in weight yeah i need to get down to 150 my doctor keeps telling me but i'm i am you know i can say i'm a fit person so um that's that but and sometimes I, and I usually wear between from size 6 to size 10. And that's 8, 10 oversized, 12 really oversized. But, you know, so that you can have an idea when you, you know, watch my videos about what I put on. So that's that um, for um, uh, measurements. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please like. Please um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, I would really appreciate it. If you do um, subscribe or you give it a thumbs up, uh, the algorithm will you know, share this with other people that want to see videos like this. Because on, on a normal day, you probably wouldn't be able to see this video. But please do um, share, like, and subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed. Bye. Say we didn't I was your first love